And welcome back to this Dialogue Web Extra. I'm Marsha Franklin. I'm sitting here with Michael Hoffman. He's a film director who lives in Idaho, and his most recent film is The Last Station. Uh, Michael, I heard an interview with Jay Perini recently. He's uh -huh. the author of The yeah. Last Station, yeah. the original author. He's a professor the at Middlebury. Novel, yeah. Middlebury. Um, and he was talking, he was kind of lamenting about the state of Hollywood right now. Um, do you share his point of view in terms of what kind of movies are being made, or do you still think there's a place for movies like you just completed? I think there's a place for it because, I mean, we're doing business and Crazy Heart's doing business, and, and I think that people are realizing that there is, is an audience out there, but if to woo them back, an older audience, you're going to have to make some movies for them. But I think what's really happening is, you know, the middle has fallen out of the movie business. All those things you used to think about, all those thrillers that we used to see and, and comedies that grown-ups might want to go to, they've just gone, they're gone. There's big tent pole movies, you know, like, the, and cartoon movies and, and broad comedies, which is basically what the studios want to make. And then, then the drop-off is between, you know, the $100 million film and the million dollar film. You know, so there's not very much at the other end, and and that's and, and and I think to make movies like this, I mean, the message that's being sent is, yeah, we'll make them, but they have to be made really cheaply. You mentioned, though, in our longer program, that the financing for this came from Germany, it didn't even come from the United States. No, this one, this one, I I, I don't think would ever have gotten made if I was looking for American finance. So, do you have hope, though, for the? Profession? You I have hope for the profession. Yeah, I, I have I, I have hope, but I mean, you know, studio production down fifty percent, independent production is down eighty percent. So it's 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 and I mean, there and, and the old paradigms and ways of doing things have been shown. I think they're no longer really functional. So it's also searching around for what's the model that's going to make this work. And at the moment, the only model anyone's coming up with is that any anything other than blockbusters need to be made for a much reduced price. Actors need to be working for a lot less money. I mean, we just have to figure out how to keep the cost down. So, I mean, again, you know, it's not called show love and it's not called show art. It's called show business. And, and, and I think that people are becoming much more aggressive about the business models they want to implement. What about where you choose to live or where you can live in order to be part of this business? Can you continue living in Idaho or do you really need to go to California to make it work? Well, I need to be in Los Angeles a lot, a lot more than I used to need to be. That's for certain. I, I, mean, I think it's still possible to live here as long as I'm willing to buy lots of plane tickets and fly to LA, uh, LA you know, once every two weeks. And if somebody wants to get into the profession, uh, I know you. a lot of parents come up to you and say, hey, my kid wants to get into the profession. Um, it's a tough time right now, isn't it? It's a tough time, and there are not many opportunities, but the one good piece of good news is it's much cheaper to make a film, and you can actually make a film with your DV camera. And you're and edit it on your computer at home, and so you can generate a piece of a piece of film that you have to show people. And in the end, you know, I have to believe that talent will out. Well, thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate that, and it's great to still have you here in Idaho. I hope that you will stay and oh, be yeah. able to make your your films. And I know you can't say what's next on the docket. But well, I, I would if I knew. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure whatever it is, it will be good as well. And no, I hope so. if uh, anyone is interested in watching the. Two previous conversations that Michael Hoffman and I had, uh, including well, that predate my uh, my gray hair, <laughs> you will find them on our website. They've been digitized for you there, and lots of more information about the film as well, The Last Station. Thanks so much for joining Thank you. us. You've been listening to Michael yeah. Hoffman in this Dialogue Web Extra. I'm Marcia Franklin. Thank you.